guys, I just wanted to give a little disclaimer, so I'd really appreciate it if you took the time to read this. But I just wanted to say that this is in no means me bragging. Makeup is my job, so my collection is bound to be a bit larger than the average everyday girl. But I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, so ignore the big light here. I've put that there so when I start filming, it's better lighting in here. But this is the kind of little overview of my room. We've got some makeup bits over here, but the main makeup is all here. So this is where I store my makeup. I am gonna go through all the drawers. There's one set of drawers, two set of drawers. That's a big kind of separate drawer bit in the middle, and then that bit on the end is their own set of drawers. Then we've got all the stuff on the top as well. I have linked everything down below including the storage inside the drawers so definitely make sure if you want to know where anything is from i've linked it like i said down below and i've tried to like name where it is so for example like that little thing there i would have listed it down below and said all my single eyeshadows are in this because that's where they are so yeah i'm gonna start with what is on my desk so my desk is from ikea it was just a tabletop and legs i won't necessarily link that down below because i think that's quite self-explanatory so this acrylic container right here is from muji it is four boxes put together and i think it's actually listed more as a cd container but this is where i keep all of my go-to palettes that i want to reach for on a kind of like a day-to-day -day basis or that i use the most so we've got kind of more like my highlighting palettes and stuff in here that's the one from NYX Anastasia Beverly Hills we've got the Carly Bybel BH Cosmetics one the Makeup Geek Kathleen Lights one as well in here is a lot of my smaller go-to eyeshadow palettes so again a couple from Anastasia Beverly Hills we've got Zoeva in there and the model Renaissance palette and then this one from um, Blank Canvas Cosmetics which I love in the back here we've got my customized palettes that I reach for most of these contain Anastasia Beverly Hills shadows and then this big one here contains all of my makeup geek eye shadows and these two are my ones from Morphe that I got the other day and I just filmed a well I'm gonna film a look using the copper one and that will be up on Thursday so stay tuned for that and then we've got obviously my Violet Voss Holy Grail meet Matt me from the balm my Kylie one is in here Natasha Denona and a couple of Morphe ones this is the Jaclyn Hill one and I think this is the uh, Morphe 350 so that's just a way that I like to store them just so I can see them all they're all out on my desk and it's all kind of neatly stored away this is a little idea I came up with how to store some of my makeup brushes these are just hanging I think these were like cutlery things from Ikea again I'll have linked them down below and I've just hung them on my like windowsill and then again another one of those pots for other brushes this little thing here contains my mini eye brushes and that is from Muji sorry if I didn't say those are all from Ikea and these was just a little brush holder from Luxie Beauty I'm not really sure but yeah that's everything that is on my desk now to kind of go through all of this I love these drawers I kind of ditched my Alex drawers and put them in my other room just because they were doing the job but they were just too thin and just overflowing and these my room isn't like the biggest room either so having all of these mirrors really gives the illusion that my room is a lot bigger than it is and definitely reflects and attracts a lot more light into the room so I love that but I am gonna start off with what is on the top first so let's get started so these little plastic containers are from Ikea again I will have linked them down below this one here just contains kind of like fragrances hair accessories my like deodorant and stuff and some hair brushes I've got like my Bath and Body Works fragrances at the back there in here is kind of all things hair I do have a lot more hair stuff but this is just kind of like my go-to it's got some hair brushes I've got like my um, ooh, um, like hairsprays, hair oils, dry shampoos, um, yeah, some like um, oils in there too. So they just are the, in those like clean white containers, which I love. They're from Ikea. This storage thing here is from Muji. I'm pretty sure it's um, like a smaller version of the thing that I showed you, but these are all like attached together. These contain all of my eyeliners and lip liners. So we've got some in here from mostly MAC, and then these ones are all Neve Cosmetics. This one is Christian Louboutin, and it's from my friend Alex. He gave it to me for my birthday last year. We've got some Kylie ones in there, loads of NYX ones. And then on the other side, these are all of my pencil eyeliners. So we've can't, I've tried to do it in like color order so these are all kind of like blues and greens and blacks and these are all kind of like golds bronzes browns like whites and nudes and like neutrals and stuff so yeah i just thought that was a better way to store it so i can kind of 
see all of the colors in there for themselves. Up here is just kind of like a few of my go-to fragrances. There's a lot of MAC ones here. Got Candy Yum Yum, the Turquatic one. And then there is the Creme de Nude one at the back. Then we've got one from Barber, Britney Spears, a couple of Jimmy Choo ones, and then a Victoria's Secret spray. So this storage is very similar to the one down there, and I've linked that one down below, because this one was actually gifted to me from Sigma, so I'm not 100% sure where it is from, but I know if you just Googled like a four-drawer acrylic storage, something like this would come up. So here I've kind of laid all of my lipsticks down. You can kind of see from the brands and stuff um, through the drawers. So you can see I've got some Tom Ford. That one's NARS, Charlotte Tilbury. These three are Makeup Forever and those two are Gerard Cosmetics. These are Models Own and these are all Illamasqua. These are all Urban Decay down here and then these are Kat Von D Studded Kiss Lipsticks and this one here is just a miscellaneous one from Lipland. So up here, this storage container here is from By Algori. It is actually meant for lip glosses but I thought it displayed liquid lipsticks really nicely as well as they're a similar sort of shape. So I keep all of my Lipland ones up here because I'm affiliate with them so I know I get sent a lot of them so there is still room for more at the back so I anticipate, I'm sure when they release new ones um, for me to be able to put them in there. Then here is the classic five drawer acrylic storage from Muji. It's not actually that high or like deep so I thought it was perfect to store like pigments and stuff so all of these ones here are from Neve Cosmetics in there. Then I open up this one. These ones are all Peaches Makeup. A few Colourpop eyeshadows, two Urban Decay ones and then that is a little Stila one at the back there. In here I kind of keep all of my MAC single shadows and pigments. So again, lots of pigments, got some travel size pigments, some reflex glitters in there, um, bigger pigments, and yeah, all the single shadows that I have from them. You can kind of see I'm organizing most things by brand because just in my head, that's an easier way for me to kind of find things and stuff. So in this drawer, in this drawer, we kind of have my NYX single shadows, my NYX glitters, and then Makeup Geek pigments and a Makeup Geek sparklers. So that's all the kind of like Makeup Geek glitters and stuff. Then in the bottom drawer, these are all kind of cream shadows. So we've got all the Anastasia Beverly Hills waterproof cream colors there. A ton of Maybelline color tattoos because I am obsessed with them. Them, the Kylie copper eyeshadow and then some L'Oreal infallible shadows and then a few like metallic rose gold shadows just from different brands but they're all kind of like the same product so that is everything I keep in there again this was from Muji and I'll have linked it down below moving on this is just something that contains my go-to face products so basically foundations I reach for the most and other face products that I reach for the most so again got two shades of Giorgio Armani luminous silk two shades of the makeup forever ultra HD stick we've got my Marc Jacobs foundation in there which has taken a severe battering so I think I need to get a new one of them a couple of the L'Oreal foundations we've got my Maybelline matte and poreless one which I love the hourglass foundation stick the Becca ultimate coverage foundation I like to keep my Chanel Soleil de Tan in there to remind me to use it and again the velvet 59 cream contour kit to remind myself to use that as well so that's everything I kind of keep in there just so I can easily access it and now we have the like a mother load of makeup so majority of my makeup is I'd say kept in here just because it works out better and I can see everything so I'm gonna go through this and show you what's inside right so I've just popped the light on so you can see everything better but starting from here this is where I kind of keep all of my misty type products my sprays and stuff so I've got Mac fix plus the Tatcha luminous dewy mist I think that's what it's called um, some Urban Decay ones in there, this one from Pixie, which I love. Then a few here from NYX, it's the Dewy Finish and the Matte Finish. Then their Priming Spray, the Smashbox Primer Water as well. Then just a few other facial sprays at the back, like the Mario Badesco Rose Water one. Then in the back here, I have my Victoria's Secret fragrances. And then down in here, I keep all of my kind of cream foundations. So these ones are from Meron, so they are super, super full coverage. And again, I've got my Cover FX one in there as well. Then in here is where I keep all of my foundation. So starting from the front, I've got two of the Too Faced Born This Way. Um, these ones are Maybelline. These three here are Makeup Forever. Then we've got some 
Tarte ones. So we've got Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation sticks here. Tom Ford, got a few MAC ones behind in there. These are Natasha Denona ones. Kat Von D, this is a Tom Ford one here too. This is obviously, as you can see, is NARS. And another Tarte one here. And then this is the Cover FX one as well. Then in here is where I keep my foundations that maybe aren't my shade or more of a drugstore or just something like that. So again, this is the NARS tint. So this one's just like slightly more of a light coverage one. One. We've got L'Oreal, again we've got some Stila ones, Estee Lauder, a paler version of the Giorgio Armani, um, just another Maybelline Matte and Paulus. At the back there we've got um, some Bourjois again, L'Oreal and then an EX1 foundation in there too. So that is everything I keep on the top, so moving down to this slightly thinner drawer. By the way, this whole thing is the New York style vanity cube and I will have linked it down below as well. Yes, moving on to this drawer, this is where I keep a lot of single shadows and glitters. Let's start at the back, in here we've got a Natasha Denona single shadow, these ones here are all from these ones here are all kind of like Sigma duos and then we've got a couple of Sigma single ones in the back there those are gold ones are from H&M which I really love and I should use a lot more we've got um, from Sugar Pill in here these three are like um, the pigments from Ardency In those two kind of sections are filled with the Lime Crime Super Foil duos so this one is in Malibu and Convertible let's see what so that one's like a blue and a purple but yeah loads of ones in there so they just stack up nicely at the back this one here recently I've just dumped those there because I got them and I don't really know where to put them but they are the cream shadows from Beauty Bakery and then that one is a little like sprinkle so it's like a really cute um, bronzy glitter which I'm obsessed with in here I like to keep my Barry M pigments down here these two are makeup forever pigments oh no wait those two are makeup forever pigments these two, I think, are Inglot um, glitters, sorry. So Inglot glitters, Makeup Forever glitters, these are Barry M pigments, a Sigma glitter, this is Coastal Scents, and this is Lime Crime. So all of these black ones in here are Alexis Per Seco pigments, so I love those, and these are two pigments from the Balm as well. In here, we've got three Illamasqua pigments. These two are both from Sigma. These are from Bella Pierre, and these two are from Zoeva. Zoeva do such good pigments, they are so pig so pigmented but i just think the color and the staying power of them is really good as well and this one is in sheer the love and it's one of my faves moving on to the front here these are all of my lit cosmetics glitters and they fit so nicely just kind of stacked in the side there and then this is like a mermaid glitter i'm not really sure where it's from but i only really use that for like halloween and stuff i just put it in there because i thought it fit and then i got my urban decay glitter liner there these three are inglot pigments as well these two are like eye polishes from per cosmetics and this is a really gorgeous cool toned silvery cream shadow from Kiko which I really really like here are kind of more of my chunky glitter so these two are the OCC ones we've got a bronze and like a more cool tone one and then these three are from Violet Voss the MAC glitters stand up really nicely in there which I really really like it's good for my OCD but these um yeah, they're all from MAC. This one's a reflex one, so it is like the other ones that were in the drawer over there, but because it was more of a red and not so like everyday colour, I put it in here. And these are more of the 3D ones, and then all of these glitters down there are from eye candy. So that is that drawer. Now, moving on, this one contains all of my bronzers and shimmery bronzers and kind of contouring powder products. So I can't really, I feel like if I go through every single product that I own, this video is gonna be so, so, so long, but I will kind of go through it as quickly as I can. These two are from obviously Peach's Makeup, as you can see. This was a limited edition MAC one. All of these ones along here, up to here, are MAC. They're all mineralized skin finishes, except this one. This is a Care Blend Powder in Dark, which I like for contouring. But yeah, all of these are bronzers um, or like, yeah, skin finishes. So we've got Gimme Sun, like dark golden and stuff. This is a Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Bronzer. These two are from Fusion Beauty. We've got Ofra back here, Giorgio Armani. And then down here is more of like my shimmery bronzers. So we've got like my Inglot ones here. Those like square ones at the back you can see are like the Laura Mercier and Bobbi Brown like shimmery like bronzers that they brought out. We've got like my gold deposit and like um, 
Global Glow there. The Galactic Bronzer that I'm obsessed with in Cabo. This is the kind of contouring powder from Peaches Makeup. This is the Bahama Mama bronzer from The Balm. And all down here is kind of all contouring colours. So this is the Sculpt one from the Maleficent Collection from MAC. Um, I've got the Maybelline Master Sculpt under there as well. And a couple of shades, like a Too Faced bronzer, all sorts. We've got the Benefit Hula and the Dallas like Blusher bronzer as well. We've also got kind of like... a. I'll move this out of the way. We've also got kind of like bronzing palettes back here. So those two contain Makeup Geek contouring pans. And then this is like a NARS palette. We've got an Hourglass palette under here. And I like to store, store my Mariah Carey Touch My Body Dazzle um, powder in there. And then that bronzer. And then this is the Jeffree Star Dark Horse. So again, like the shimmery bronzers that I just kind of like to put on my body or dust over my face and stuff. They are all kept in there together. Moving on to the next drawer, this is where I keep all of my blushes. This little insert I bought from Biogori and it's actually meant for kind of single eyeshadows but it fits my mini blushes kind of perfectly so I will have linked that down below as well. But yes, again, this is where I kind of like to keep all of my blushes stacked up together. All these ones here are from NARS. These are all Marc Jacobs. A couple of Soap and Glory ones in the back there as well. These ones here are all MAC. This is like a limited edition at MAC, one, which I really, really like. Then we've got some from Tarte, um, a couple from Laura Geller, some NYX ones, some L'Oreal ones in the back there as well. All of these ones are mineralized blushes from Neve Cosmetics. We've got a mini Sephora one in there. A couple of Makeup Geek um, blushes. All of these gold ones are Milani. Becca, this one is from Jane Iredell and this is a little mini one from Sigma and just like in the bronzer drawer in the back I've got kind of palettes and stuff that are blushes and I know at the bottom underneath there's a Z palette that has um, kind of like blush pans from MAC and just any sort of blush pan that I had so they all are kept in that drawer and Christ this is where I keep all of my highlighting products so it's a bit of like a mess but I do know what's in here and it kind of works for me, but I'm sure like if I receive more highlighters then this drawer is going to have to drastically change. But starting over here, these two are from Ofra. We've got two MAC ones here. All the most of the MAC ones are in the back there, but I think I just reach for these two the most. We've got one from Tarte. These three are from Becca. These two are L'Oreal. All of those ones in the back there are from Makeup Geek. This is a little one from Jouer, which I really, really like. Um, NARS, this one is Models Own. These two are Hourglass. We've got two from Galactic. These four are all the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighters that she bought out. Um, a Peaches and Cream one, two from The Balm, and then the rest going back are from MAC. Some of them are limited edition. In the front here, I like to kind of keep my loose powder ones. This is Artist Couture. We've got the Beauty Bakery one. And then in this little insert here, um, this, I've got loads and loads and loads of these inserts dotted around um, to store makeup. And they are from Muji, and I'll have linked them down below. They're just small kind of like plastic trays. But in here, I keep all of my cream highlighters and stuff. So we've got ones from like Ben. Benefit, um, L'Oreal, Maybelline, of course. I, I'm obsessed with the strobing stick. I've got like loads. Um, Mar uh, we've got a Marc Jacobs one here too. A couple of Laura Geller powder ones just slotted down the side there. But yeah, this drawer is a bit of like a shamble at the moment. But yeah, all of my highlighters are kept in there. Now I'm going to go through what is inside these two drawers. So they're two, like as you can see, separate compartments. They both contain six drawers and get, progress bleh, and get progressively deeper. Again, I really just loved the mirrored front. It brings a lot more light into my room. So yeah, I'm just now going to go through what is inside these. So starting from over here, this drawer just contains, um, these just cardboard boxes. They're not like anything storage or, um, like that you can buy. Well, I guess you can buy a cardboard box, but yeah, these just contain, this is all sheet masks in here. And this is all just mini skincare samples and little bits that I get sometimes. And I've got a couple of brush cleaners. We've got the Sigma one and the one from MAC. And I like to keep this kind of um, dua fiber cloth in here so I can clean my mirrors and surfaces and stuff on a regular basis because that is the one downside about um, the mirrors. They can pick up a bit of dust or like fingerprints. So as long as you don't mind cleaning them and stuff, they're fine. But yeah, 
yes, in here, this is where I keep a lot of my palettes. So going across these three as Zoeva. These are some of the other Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes that I've got. We've got the um, Lorac Pro palette in here. These two are both from Models Own. So we've got that matte one, and then this is a holographic one. This is the Ashley Tisdale Illuminate palette. The Lime Crime Venus palette. A couple of palettes from Per. It's this one is the Makeup Geek Maniami Way palette. This is from Velvet Fifty Nine, and then these two are like little two Tom Ford quads, which I never really use, but uh, the shimmery shades in there are absolutely stunning. So I really need to make sure I use them a lot more. My two Urban Decay palettes are here, and then we've got um, two other Zoeva palettes at the back there, and then two of the little mini like NYX palettes. These two are from Coastal Scents, and then, yeah, like I said, these are just kind of some mini palettes and longer palettes, so the Jeffree Star one's under there, a little mini MAC one from a collection, and this one's just from Illamasqua. So in here, these are kind of all on this side. These are all of my custom-made palettes, so these are two from MAC, and then underneath here are, as you can see, like, stacked up Z palettes, and they all contain Makeup Geek eyeshadows of colours that I don't necessarily reach for on a day-to-day -day basis, so like you saw that one was more of like a pink tone, I know there's blues under there and greens. In the back there is the same, but they're just of a smaller size. At the back here as well we've got my Maybelline palettes, a couple of L'Oreal ones, those ones are Bella Pierre eyeshadows, and these ones here are like the NYX ones. Then here we've got like a few face palettes, so the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild highlighter, Tanya Burr face one, and a little eye one from Tanya Burr as well. And yeah, a couple more of the Anastasia ones, the Pearl Love Your Selfie 2 palette. All that good stuff is in this drawer. And here is the mother load of Morphe palettes. So I did kind of have to label them, otherwise they all look the same. But I gave them their own drawer just because I had so many. So yeah, these are just where I keep all of my Morphe palettes. And this one here is like a blusher one. But yeah, I've got stacks on stacks of Morphe eyeshadows. So I'll never not be able to find a color that I need. And then in here is just where I keep lots of my body stuff. So it's literally all, as you can see, it's Soap and Glory, Palmer's, and like a couple of body shop bits there because that's just the stuff that I use all the time. And then this one here is actually from Bath and Body Works and smells amazing. And then, yeah, we've got a few like hand um, sanitizers in there too. Moving on, I'm now going to go through this drawer. So in the top here, I keep all of my like squeezy tube lip glosses. By the way, this whole drawer is filled with lip products just as an fyi but yeah this one is all squeezy tube lip glosses these it, these containers are all from into design they have so many shapes and sizes the clear acrylic ones so i will leave a link to them down below you can get them from amazon and again this is just another one of like the one that you saw in there from muji so i'll link that one down below as well but yeah these just contain all of like my holographic lip um products so loads of lime crime lip toppers these are from um, models own um, yeah a few from Sigma and stuff I just had a few of that kind of type of product so I thought I'd give them their own little section here's like all of my lip balms and stuff like some paw paw obviously I've got my flip balm from Palmer's in here too but yeah so squeezy tube lip products holographic lip glosses and like lip um, balms and treatments down again it looks a little bare in here but I'm kind of anticipating my future addiction so there's definitely room for another one but these flat lipstick holders are from by Al Gori and I love them because like I said they're completely flat a lot of lipstick holders kind of um, have like a slant to them but these ones are flat and they fit I think 24 and I thought they were perfect for these drawers so all of these ones here are the sleek VIPs and then these ones are all MAC and there's some limited edition ones in there in the next drawer this is like my Anastasia Beverly Hills drawer so these trays are actually cutlery trays from Ikea I'll have linked them down below as well so they're just perfect just to kind of light everything in and these contain all of the liquid lipsticks these are all just kind of squished to the side and I'm going to find something to put them in but for now they kind of work just along here. These are all of the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip glosses and I've just added into the drawer the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip palette which I'm so excited to try. So this is kind of like an Anastasia Beverly Hills lip drawer essentially. This is the drawer I keep all of my lip glosses in so I've kind of arranged them into shades I guess. All in here is where I keep my light tone nude. So we've got some Dose of Colours, Mark Jacobs, Tom Ford. And moving along these are all nude glosses again but of a slightly more pinkier or darker tone. So again we've got some Alexis Paseco ones in here, um, some other Jouer ones, um, lots of little mini MAC ones like this one's Love Nectar, 
Colourpop. And at the back, these are all kind of pink and red. So again, Tanya Burr, MAC, Alexis again. Um, a lot of MAC ones under there as well. And like that one is from Dose of Colours. This container is also from By Al Gori. It's part of like the ones that you saw in the top drawer. Just a different kind of version. Pretty sure it's meant for cutlery. But yeah, if you're ever searching for like long things, always search for like acrylic cutlery organisers because they basically look like this and I think they're perfect. So and I'll link them down below as well. On to the next drawer. This basically contains all of my Smashbox lipsticks. So if you remember, there was that massive um, blogger... PR package that contained them all, which is incredible. I am in need of going through these because I know I'm not going to keep these all or wear these all, but I just put them in here for now. The thing that this is stored in is actually a giant... Um, it's meant for compacts, and it's from By Algori as well. But I thought it displayed all of these in really nicely, and then these will just fit down the side. All of these are from Smashbox. I've kept them in their boxes so I'm able to see the colour, because once you take them out, that's kind of the one downside about their packaging. I can't tell what colour they are, so they're just kind of all displayed in here for now. And finally, in the bottom here, I kind of keep all of my drugstore lip products. So all of these lipsticks in here are essentially from Maybelline or L'Oreal. I think there might be a couple of Soap and Glory ones in here, but I do keep all of my soap and glory ones in here this lipstick holder that puts these all in actually came with the vanity cube i just took it out and then put it in here just because i didn't need it up there and i thought it worked better there and then i got a couple of lip palettes as well this one's from l'oreal and it's got my name on it so yeah and this was like the same as what the anastasia beverly hills liquid lipsticks were in i just put um another one in there and i kept my drugstore ones in there so that was everything in that drawer and now moving on to this set of drawers again oh my god excuse me am i dressing out <laughs> but um i have linked this down below as well this is a section and then that is a section so starting in the top drawer this is just where I keep all my skincare and primers again this is one of the acrylic um, containers from Muji which I'll have linked down below and this just contains all of my primers in so you've got the Nivea Too Faced Benefit Smashbox a couple of little pot primers from Illa Masca here this again these two are like cardboard boxes that I just um, got from PR I think as in something would have come in them once upon a time and then I've just used them as storage but this just contains all of my moisturizers so you've got strobe cream this one here from Garnier We've got Attach One, Bobbi Brown and stuff in the back there. This is just kind of some skincare bits. We've got some oils, again, some more moisturizers that are more kind of intense and not really um, that great for under makeup, but more like um, before you go to bed or something. And then here is where I kind of keep all my, my makeup remover and my cellar waters. Got some cotton buds here, and then these are some lip whip removers and some toning pads from Nip and Fab. So this drawer contains a lot of face products, mainly concealer and powder. So we've got um, my powder palettes here. So we've got Kat Von D, a couple of powder contour kits from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This one here is from Zoeva. This I'm really not sure where it is from, so I do apologise, but it is just a giant acrylic, I don't know, tub. I think it is from Muji, and it did have loads and loads of, like, sections in, and I took them all out. But these are just where I keep all of my pressed and loose powders. So these are some NYX, a couple ones from Sleek, loads of loose ones down there. A lot of them are from Neve Cosmetics. Um, obviously, I got my baby Laura in there, some NARS pressed powders, Ben Nye banana powder, some MAC, um, Ofra, Rimmel, all the good stuff. Then in here, this is another one of those um, acrylic containers just of a different size from Muji. This is where I keep all of my squeezy tube concealers. So a lot of them are from NYX, LA Girl, Tarte, and then also some pencil concealers in here. These are from um, like nude sticks. That white one is from Neve Cosmetics. Then this here is from um, Ikea. It is again another cutlery one. So it's got three long ones, a mini, well, a mini one, and then a medium size um, kind of slot type thing but yeah i just keep all of my concealers in here that's kind of like my concealer and powders ah, so in here this is where i like to keep a lot of my well basically all of my eye products so this is another one of those containers that you just saw in there that one that I've cut all the concealers in is the same as this one and this is where I like to keep all of my like liquid eyeliners and stuff so in the back there is all of like gel liners in here is where I kind of keep all my pencil products or like creamy products we've got some brow highlights in there these are the Urban Decay Moon Dust got a few nice jumbo pencils in here is where I keep all of my black liquid liners in here again is liquid liners but these ones are all of color so these are um, loads of the Too Faced ones the NYX Vivid Brights in there again two of the more the 
Natasha Denona ones. And then in here is where I like to keep all of my high-end mascaras. So it's mainly Tarte in there, um, uh, Too Faced. There's some MAC ones underneath there as well. These acrylic containers here are all from Interdesign. I've linked them down below. They have so many different um, sizes and shapes that you can choose from. And in the back here is where I like to keep all of my drugstore mascaras. And they're literally all Maybelline, as you can see. In here is where I like to keep all of my brow sets. Again, loads of them are from L'Oreal and then Benefit. I've got the 3D brow tones. Um, then the Brow Artist Plumper. And then this one is the one from the brow gal and I'm obsessed with that one too. This one is where I like to keep kind of just random eye like products so um like glitter glues, eyelash glue, like my Inglot Duraline and stuff is in there. Then in here is where I like to keep all of my brow pencils. We've got brow powders under there from like Sigma, like brow producty stuff and then down here is where I keep my go-to eye bases so we've got um like a soft ochre and a painterly, the Maybelline color tattoos in creme de nude and like creme de rose or something and then that's one from MAC as well and then in the back there is all kind of white mascaras or any sort of coloured mascaras so Christ I'm out of breath but that is my kind of eye draw. On to the next drawer. So all of these containers are again the acrylic well I think they're more like PP like flat containers of all different sizes and they're all from Muji I'll have linked them down below and kind of reminded you what they are but I've kind of arranged this drawer except these three here but most of it is in brand so at the back here I've got OCC these are all Lime Crime here is my Kylie collection and then a little NARS pot just in the back there these are all Ofra liquid lipsticks here and these are all nude sticks pencils and then there's Neve Cosmetics pencils in there as well. But then these three just contain liquid lipsticks of all sorts of brands. This is all of my nudes. So we've got some Jeffree Star, some Steeler I can see in the back there, some Beauty Bakery, some Jouer, some Galactic. And then in here it's all the same similar brands but these ones are all kind of dark purples or like more like brownie based nudes and stuff. And then in here is all bright pinks and reds and stuff like that. So... Yeah, that is that drawer. I feel like this is one of my most aesthetically pleasing drawers. Then in the bottom here is where I keep all of my lashes. So all the ones in a purple box are from Velour. These are all Esquido. These ones are Esquido under here as well. These are all Huda. We've got some packets of more like drugstore lashes. Got some backstage in there. And these ones here are all House of Lashes ones. And I think there's a few Lily Lashes ones at the back. But yeah, this is my kind of more messier drawer and it just contains all of my eyelashes. That was everything in this section of drawers and now on to the final section which is this one here. This one is all mainly organised by brands like I said I just find that easier and I kind of did it with brands I have a lot of stuff of. So in here is where I keep all of my sleek stuff. It's got all of my eyeshadow palettes here, the strobing souffles in the back, my highlighting palettes, a couple of the lip plumping um pencils they have and then all of the matte me lipsticks and then the lip glosses here going down this is like my Too Faced drawer these two little pots are from Ikea I'll link them down below and again another one of the acrylic into design um storage systems but these contain all of the melted matte lipsticks these have all of the like squeezy tube ones in these have all of the lip glosses in and these have all of the palettes i've got the sweet peach palette in there which i'm still expecting my pr package from the party that i went to from that just because we didn't get given it at the party as we were traveling but then we weren't then put on the pr list of people that didn't go so didn't get one of that makes sense so i'm still waiting for that and so when it arrives i'll have a sweet peach palette to give away but Yes, then I've got other palettes in there as well, like the Bon Bon one, the Chocolate Bell one, Naturalize, and then there was that holiday one that they have. This is my Tarte drawer. I've got loads of the Tarte Tartus lip paints, the kind of pencils, the mini ones came out in their holiday collection, then loads of little Tarte palettes in the back there, like in the Bloom, the Harouche one, Swamp Queen, one of my faves, then like all of the Pro Glow ones under there as well. Then in here is like my NYX lip drawer, essentially. This contains like loads of the NYX lip 
<laughs> NYX soft matte lip creams, the intense butter glosses, loads of their lipsticks, and again, loads of the metallic liquid lipsticks, and their lip lingeries are at the back. So essentially, this is just like my NYX lip drawer. And then finally, in the bottom drawer, it's a very lonely drawer, but I'm anticipating maybe needing to put stuff in here one day. But this just contains all of my cream contour palettes that I don't necessarily reach for all of the time, or just like cream contouring stuff. So it's got a Tom Ford palette in there. Um, this is Peach's makeup contouring cream or like bronzing cream. Giorgio Armani, we've got Maybelline in here and these are some Anastasia Beverly Hills cream contour palettes and then my fave sleek ones in there. And this one is from Zoeva as well. And that just kind of all stays in the bottom there. So that is the kind of finished makeup collection and everything like that. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did. And subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to see a room tour of like where I film and where I keep my clothes, definitely give this video a thumbs up so I know. But I hope you guys found some new ways to store your makeup. And everything, like I said said is linked down below so definitely make sure to check the links but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did again subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one bye guys